We want to thank you for your generosity and your giving. And this is our time where we get to we get to we get to bless God back. How many how many want to bless how many how many want to bless God? I want to bless God back. How we bless God back? Bless God back through not just in what we give, but in what we do. And the Bible says that be ye not only hearers of the word, but doers. If any doers out there, a lot of people they hear, brother Brennan, but I, I, I wonder if I got any doers. Well, he says that give as you shall be given, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, that you might receive. So this time we're going to take up our offering. Three ways for those who are online, if you're with us, you can give by way of givelify.com that you see up on the screen right now. Others, and that's G-I-V-E-L-I-F-Y.com, and it is extremely secure. So, and, and can I help somebody? If you have a hard time just remembering to give, it's easy to do. You can set it up so that it can come out when you're paying. That's a good way to do it. Because then you take God. When we put God first, God put, God's going to still make us first. But that's when God makes us first. And that's how we give. We give not just brother because we want to just give a little bit. Here's a few dollars, God. But we want to give God through our tithes and offering that we might have meat in this house. That God might open up a window. If you just look, I know I can't turn my camera all the way back, but if you're home, just look out your window. You ever looked out the window and just saw, man, how big it is? But if you got a big window, and that's what I'm praying, so God opens up the windows and the doors of heaven. And you know what he does, Staples? He just, he just, I'm going to show somebody. I'm not going to pour this water here, but if I could open up this bottle of water, he just, shh, shh. That's what God does when you get, I mean, but, I, but giving is free. He don't want you to feel like he's got to twist your arm backwards and all that stuff. He just says get free. And you know what your giving does? First and foremost, as a believer and as a church, our number one priority and responsibility is what Matthew 28 and 19 and 20 says. Go ye therefore, making disciples, saving souls is our number one. It's, it's, it's not anything else that we do, but our number one. And, and when we get that out of and, and you know what? It's not what we do in here, but it's what we do out there. Yeah. I'm trying to preach to somebody. I'm going to talk about that today. It's brilliant. It's not what I, and don't get me wrong, in here is a celebration, and we celebrate and worship, but it's what I do on the outside. And don't get me wrong, we got to have those things on the inside, but what we do with our offering, our offering goes across, not just here in West Virginia, not just here in Fairmont, not just here in, uh, in Morgantown, but it goes helping people all over. And that's what the good news is. It's spreading the good news that Jesus Christ saves. And guess what? He not only saves, but if you've been saved, he restores and he delivers. And I believe I got a few folk in the house that they need to be delivered. <laughs> yeah, like some folk out there. You just need, if you know somebody that needs to be delivered from something, just deliver. And that's what your offering does. It helps us to help others who are in need. But it also helps us to continue to do ministry for the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we have givelify.com. We also have Cash App, that's MTZ Fairmont. That's MTZFairmont.com. And then we also we also have where you can um, also give by mailing a check um, to our address, which is 135 Maple Avenue, Fairmont, West Virginia. So if you're watching and you catch this broadcast late, you can go to the top of our Facebook page and you can see the link and you can give accordingly. And we pray that as you plant a seed in this ministry, that you will see God begin to just grow in your life. But can I, can I tell you, can I just be honest and tell you something? Giving, again, is a matter of the heart. <laughs> It really is. Giving, giving, it's, it's a heart issue. It's we give out of our heart because God has been good. Just raise your hand if God's been good to you. He's been good to you. Be kind. Done some stuff. Shouldn't have done. So God, we thank you. I'm going to go ahead and offer a prayer. Father God, we thank you, God, for this day. I know it is hard Sunday, God, but we thank you, God, for your heart. And God, what you did back on Calvary's cross. So we pray, God, that you would bless this, your offering, God. And God, we pray, oh God, that you would do something in a supernatural way to all those who have given today. Those who have stretched out on faith, God, and said, you know what? I'm going to do more than what I used to do. I'm going to do more because, God, it, it, it's, it's really because you've been good to me. So, Father God, right now, we pray, God, bless those in their hearts, in their minds, in their spirits, God. And God, if somebody is still contemplating what to do,
it, God. Pray you'll speak to their heart, God. I pray, God, they will take a supernatural leap of faith and do you first and do them second. I'm going to say that again. Do God first and do yourself second and watch what you do, God. I've seen it and I know you can and I know you will, God. We thank you for this offering. We thank you for this church and this ministry, God, and all of those churches that open your name. Bless this your offering. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.